في مشهد رائع أقيم مهرجان القفز بالمظلات فوق صفح الأهرامات بمشاركة عشرات القافزين من دول عدة حول العالم تضمن المهرجان العديد من العروض الفنية المثيرة والممتعة التي تم تنفيذها فوق الأهرامات والتي تمثل آخر أعجوبة باقية من عجائب الدنيا شكلت العروض المقدمة خلال المهرجان جدارية رائعة في المزج بين الرياضة والتاريخ الفرعوني القديم لتضع مصر على خريطة العالم الرياضي والسياحي بشكل مختلف نتابع هذا التقرير الذي ألقى الضوء على هذا المهرجان منظر في غاية الروعة أنا أتمنى أن أكون شاعر لو أنا شاعر لك كتبت قصيدة بس للأسف أنا مش شاعر احنا الايفنت ده اسمه ايفنت اسمه جامب لايك افيرو فوليوم 2 كان عندنا فوليوم 1 في شهر 6 اللي فات الحمد لله حقق نجاح كبير جدا حضر حوالي 60 واحد من 18 دوله الايفنت ده حضر بيحضره 130 بني ادم او اكثر من 34 دوله من حوالين العالم كله Egypt has something very very special it has the pyramids the biggest and oldest Um, um, buildings in the world, so it's very attractive for a lot of people to look at. But to jump above it, it's even nicer. So I mean, it is a very, very big attraction to a lot of skydivers around the world to jump over the pyramids. It's amazing to be over in the sky, uh, floating over the pyramids. You just wish you could like stop the time and. Uh, you know, like fall very, very slow uh, to stay forever with them. And when he said that, I'm like, That's, that will never work. You know, it's, it's such a big dream. It's, it's too big to come true. And, uh, and in fact, here we are jumping over the pyramid, like right over the pyramid and landing here with many, many friends from all over the world, all meeting here in Egypt. I think it's a wonderful experience. I lost my legs in an explosion. Then fast forward nearly 10 years later, I learned to skydive. I became the UK's first double amputee skydiver and the first in the world to learn to skydive post-injury. There were already some skydivers without legs, but I was the, the world's first to, to learn without the, without the legs. I love Egypt. I love this event and as many times as you have this event, I will come every time to support it, to promote it. Not just to promote uh, our sport, but to promote Egypt. And I'd love to do all of those at the same time and of course my home country, Saudi Arabia. My first jump away from home and for it to be here in Egypt over the pyramids was amazing. Flying over the things, it's awesome. I didn't expect that. It, it, it was every, every second here. It's an awesome experience. I wish I could do it every day. <laughs> Skydiving in Egypt above the pyramids, very hard to describe. But what I can say is it's a magical experience. Jumping out of Hercules, C-130 Hercules, 15,000 feet above the pyramids with your friends, breaking away from your friends and in free fall looking down at these pyramids, you can feel the energy. They look huge. The كلام يضيع من عندي لما أريد أتكلم عن المنظر وأنا أشوف إنه الأهرامات تقرب من عندي أو أنا أتقرب الأهرامات. الأهرامات حقيقة هي لا زالت لغز لحد هذه اللحظة البشرية ما فكت كل طلاسمة ولا كل الغاز. فالدليل على عظمة أجدادنا. Everybody knows. the pyramids of Giza. Everybody knows exactly that this is one of the seven natural wonders of the world. And so to be able to come here and actually jump and do and practice our passion and to do it over the pyramids is a blessing. So everyone here that I've talked to, that I've seen, feels exactly the same way. They're delighted to be here. They're so excited and so happy.